It's earnings season now, and this is the time in each quarter when many of the day traders on our desk find their best opportunities for profit because of the big moves that stocks make in reaction to the earnings announcements. I'm Seth Freuberg, the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk here in Manhattan, and the traders on our desk are constantly approaching me to help them to come up with creative ways to make money using options during earnings season. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a technique that some advanced options traders use to take advantage of the movements that stocks make in the days leading up to earnings announcements that can, under the right circumstances, present an extremely low risk trade with a surprisingly large upside, which I think you're going to find interesting if you stick around. Hi, I'm Seth Freiberg, and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan, and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world, trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. Now, I'd like to suggest that you click on our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free trading videos that we produce for traders and investors all over the world. They're really very valuable. Okay, so it's earnings season, which for many day traders is the most profitable time in each quarter because certain stocks have a tendency to react in fairly predictable patterns leading up to earnings. You might have noticed that with certain stocks that you follow where, for example, some stocks tend to channel in a tight range during the final weeks leading up to earnings while others tend to rally or sell off into earnings. In any event, some stocks form predictable patterns in the days leading up into earnings. Now, of course, while certain stocks may have a tendency to behave certain ways as its earnings announcement approaches, there's no law that says the stock has to act that way approaching the next earnings report. And so I'm often approached by traders that have observed a certain pattern in relation to stocks as they approach earnings and they want me to design a low risk way for them to play that tendency so that if they're wrong, they don't have a meaningful downside exposure, but if they're right, they can make a lot of money. And so one of the traders on our desk noticed that over the past year or so, Tesla stock has the tendency to rally earlier in the week that the earnings release takes place, probably due to rumors about the earnings report itself. So let's take a look at the weeks leading up to Tesla's first quarter earnings release, which was scheduled for after the market closed on April 29th. And as you can see, Tesla was trading up around 710 on April 15th, which was two weeks before the earnings were scheduled to be released. Now, before we get into the option strategy that could have been implemented to take advantage of this trader's observations about Tesla's price behavior the week of earnings, we need to make sure that everyone watching the video understands how call options work. If you understand call options, don't worry about this. It's going to be quick, and we're going to jump right back into the lesson. So it's known as a call option when a stock entitles the buyer of that option to purchase 100 shares of that stock at a certain price called the strike price of that option, regardless of what price the stock is trading at before that option expires. The buyer of a call option pays what's called a premium to the seller of the option because the seller of the option is taking the risk that the stock will go past the strike price of the option, in which case the buyer can exercise his option. But if the stock on the expiration of the, option, of the option is not beyond the strike price of the option, then the seller just pockets the premium that he was given by the buyer. He walks away completely free of any obligations. The option, in other words, expires worthless because it was never triggered. So let's say hypothetically that XYZ stock is trading at 100. So let's say that there's an options chain 30 days out from today for XYZ, and we find that the option to buy XYZ for $105 in 30 days costs 80 cents. Then that option would cost the buyer $80 because it represents the right to buy 100 shares of XYZ. And so you need to pay 100 times 80 cents to buy the option, which is $80. Now moving out 30 days, if XYZ stock closes on the day the option expires at 105 or less, the options expires worthless and the seller of the option just pockets the $80 and the buyer of that option just loses $80 on the transaction. However, if the stock trades up to say 107, then the seller is required to the, to the buyer to sell his shares of XYZ company for $105, even though they're trading at 107. So in that case, the buyer would make a profit from having bought the call because he paid $2 less per share for a stock than it's actually worth. And he paid 80 cents for that option. So he made money on that one. So those are the basic workings of a call option. So let's take a look at a possible options trade on Tesla that I think you're gonna find interesting. 
So let's say on that day, you looked up the options chain that expires on April 24th, the week before earnings. And at the same time, you looked at the options chain for May 1, which is the option chain that expires right after earnings. So options on April 24th on that chain will expire before earnings and the May 1, 1 chain, that will be alive and exposed to the price movement of the earnings release on April 29th when Tesla re reports its earnings. So if on that day we went ahead and sold two of the April 29th 7.30 calls and bought two of those 800 May 1st calls, then what that trader has entered into is known as a diagonal call spread to options income traders. Now in a minute, we're gonna teach you how this trade works and why we structured it this way. I wanted to let you know that there really are sound, viable, long-term techniques for trading options for income. And in fact, we're currently running a two hour free intensive workshop at the moment where we'll be teaching you three of those strategies that real professional options traders use, including a really simple but incredibly effective technique that some of the greatest investors in the world like Warren Buffett use all the time, plus an options trading strategy that has a statistical 80% probability of profit month in and month out, plus an option strategy that you can employ with a stock that you like where you'll make your target profit whether the stock goes up, goes nowhere, or even goes down a small percentage. So if those strategies would be of interest to you, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free registration page in a new window, so don't worry, you won't lose this video. Or you can just head on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It's a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. Let's now break down what's happened here from a cash flow standpoint. So we'll see how this trade starts out and why the cash flow is so important in this case. So as you can see, we sold the 730 April calls for $40 and 62 cents. And remember, each option represents 100 shares of stock. So we multiply that by 100 and we sold two of those. So when you do the math, you see that we received $8,124 for selling those two calls. And as for the two long calls up on May 1, well, those have a cost of $39.24 apiece, which again, if you do the math, comes out to a cost of $78.48. So as you could see, this transaction creates positive cash flow for your account. Now, keep in mind that your broker will require you to have a balance of at least $13,724 for this trade because of the risks involved. Keep this capital requirement in mind because we'll be coming back to that a little bit later. Now, this positive cash flow will become important, as you will see in a minute, because now we're going to move forward to the day that those April 24th Tesla 730 call options expire. And you can see that Tesla rallied slightly from the day we put them on, but we gave some room for that. So as we sold those calls at 730, while Tesla was trading at 710 on the day we opened this trade. And so with Tesla, as you can see, closing at 725 on April 24th, those call options are worthless and expire with zero value, as we talked about. After all, who would exercise an option to buy 100 shares at 730 when you could go out into the open market and buy them for 725, five points lower? And so those options obviously expire worthless. And that original cash that you received, you just pocket that. So let's think about the enviable situation that we're in now in this trade. So let's say that Tesla doesn't rally before earnings. And in fact, the market rumors are the earnings report is going to be lousy and the shares will go down. Well, in that case, the 800 calls are obviously going to have no value if the shares close below 800 on May 1st. And therefore, the original cash flow becomes your profit on the trade. In other words, once that 730 call expires worthless, the trade is now a guaranteed winner. Of course, you'd like your prediction to come true, but it's nice to know that you're now in a risk free trade and only have upside should the 800 calls indeed increase in value. In fact, so options income traders depict their trades in risk graphs, just like this one. And as you can see, the cash flow we received on the trade creates a floor of $276 on the trade and the surviving 800 call, which is still alive until May 1st, that provides upside potential to the trade in the event that Tesla rallies up to or after earnings. Okay, now let's move forward to April 27th, two days before expiration. And you can see 
that Tesla has indeed experienced a huge rally. And as a result, the 800 call has now pushed up in value to $50.35 from the original 39.24 that we paid for it. So now let's analyze where we are from a profit and cash flow perspective on this trade if we chose to close it at this point, which we most likely would have. And as you can see, we get to pocket that original 8,124 from the two 710 calls we sold. And, you know, because those expired worthless. And we also cashed in the 800 calls that are still alive just, just now, we cashed them in for over $10,000. Then we subtract the original cost of those 800 calls to net out to a profit of $10,346 on the trade. Now, one more point I'd like to make before we wrap up. I'd like you to consider how much more efficient options are than shares of stock. When this diagonal trade first be began, Tesla was trading at 710. When we closed the trade, it had to rally to set, it had rallied to 798, which is a gain of $98 per share. It would have taken more than 105 Tesla shares to ride a $98 gain up to a profit of $10,346 which would have, and it would have originally inquire, required an investment of over $74,000. Yet the options trade only cost us a little less than $14,000. And so there's that much less risk in the options trade, as well as that much less capital required, making it an easy choice as to which direction to go in many cases. So the key takeaway from today's video is that options allow you to get into incredibly attractive risk reward situations if you have a thesis like this trader did that Tesla is likely to rally in the week of earnings. If that premise turns out to be correct, then the trader can put himself into a position with way less capital than the outright buying of the shares would have required to make a boatload of profit and an incredible return if the premise turns out to be correct. And had Tesla sold off and never rallied as anticipated, well, that's hardly the end of the world as you would have still pocketed the original $267 as your cash flow uh, profit and therefore much superior to those shares selling off, which you would have had to sell at a loss. And so these kinds of risk reward trade-offs can be created all the time once you learn the techniques of professional options traders like the guys on our desk here at SMB. Now, just to remind you, as I said earlier, if you enjoyed this video and learned something valuable from it, would like to learn the details of three real-world option strategies that professional options traders use all the time, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free registration page in a new window so you won't lose this video. Don't worry. Or you can just head on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It really is a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button right now so you won't miss free trading videos that we're posting constantly on our channel to help you to improve your game as an options trader.